This is a wonderful book that I've had for a very long time, and it's a book that I bought new. So I bought this book brand new. It's called Algebra, and it was written by the late Serge Lang. This is the revised third edition, Graduate Texts in Mathematics. So one of the few books that I've purchased new. That's, that's what this is for sure. Oh, I just have to smell it here. Just mm, amazing, amazing book. So this is Serge Lang's Algebra. It is a masterpiece of a book in some sense because he covers everything so quickly. Well, what's this? Look at this. Logical prerequisites. And so you already you have like a diagram here with functions. And these are just the prerequisites. <laughs> so, and then and then we begin, right? And and look how quickly, I mean, group theory, groups. It's just here's page three, here's page eighty-three. And then you're on rings, and then on page 117, you're on modules. Okay, so you're moving very, very quickly in this book. I want to emphasize that. Um, polynomials, and then, and then algebraic equations. So, you know, extensions, Galois theory, extensions of rings, right? And, and you move, I mean, it just moves through all of this. Transcendental extensions, algebraic spaces, Noetherian rings and modules, real fields, absolute values. Then linear algebra and representations. Look at the tensor product, semi-simplicity, so all kinds of stuff uh, that you might not see in other books, right? And the exercises are, are ridiculous. There's, I mean, there's, some, there's some really hard exercises in this book. Uh, I will show you some of the exercises. So this is groups, and it's, it's, it reads really well. Um, I have other books by Serge Lang, and honestly, it reminds me of his other books. Um, I've used this mainly as a reference when I was um, learning abstract algebra. Uh, I did reference it for a couple things. Um, groups, cyclic groups. Uh, I referenced this for it was some stuff with semi-direct products. I remember using it. Uh, referencing this once, and I found the explanation in Lang to be the best, and I, I was satisfied my curiosity with with this book. So sometimes when you have questions, you can search in books for explanations, and some books will be better than others. What's this? This is cool. Operations of a group on a set. Let's look at this together. <clears throat> Let G be a group and S be a set. An operation or an action of G on S is a homomorphism. Okay, from G into the group of permutations of S. We shall call S a G set. Cool. Conjugation. And let's go to the exercises. I believe, I guess they're at the very end of of the uh, chapter. I remember because there's, there's a lot. Here we go. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So one through ten already. That, that I mean, they look pretty significant. And then some more here. I mean, you've got a lot of problems, right? Look at that. Look how many exercises you have. It's ridiculous. There's no answers, of course. Uh, that would be amazing. Fiber products and co-products, pullbacks and pushouts. Wow. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. And then rings. Now it's time for rings on page 83. <laughs> so after you, after you read these very dense pages and work through all of these exercises, I mean, no one does that. But if you did that, I mean, can you imagine how good you would be? It would be ridiculous. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. The exercises here would take, I mean, there's just so many. I hear semi-direct products. That's what I was talking about earlier. It also shows up, though, um, when you study modules, um, I was studying it in that context with some other things, but the tensor algebra of a module, yeah, the tensor product, decomposition over one endomorphism, determinants, a lot of mathematics here. So this, this is, uh, th there are other books that are easier than this one for learning, like the book by Dummett and Foote. Um, here it says what the book is intended for. This book is intended as a basic text for a one-year course in algebra at the graduate level, or as a useful reference for mathematicians and professionals who use higher-level algebra. Yes, 
it successfully addresses the basic concepts of algebra for the revised. Yeah, so it does have a lot of, right, so you can use it as a reference. And I, and I like that they say that because it does have a lot of stuff in it. Um, if you need something, it's probably going to be in Lang, at least the definition or, you know, something heavy that's not in introductory books. Uh, it, it might have its place in Lang, and you might be able to find it in here. I will try to leave a link in the description to this book in case you want to check it out. It's pretty awesome. Take care.